in today's video, we're pitting every Ghost Rare era against each other. What's up guys, we're back with another Ghost Rare Yu-Gi-Oh opening. And before you, I have four stacks all different eras of Yu-Gi-Oh's Ghost Rares. Before I explain it, let's get into the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Magician cards, Toon Dark Magician, Apprentice Illusion Magician, and the Dark Magician Girl. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below which era you want to see win. And now let's explain what we're doing here. So I've broken up Yu-Gi-Oh's Ghost Rares into four different sections. First, we have the original Ghost Rares, which we're starting in the end of GX and going basically into like Zexel and stuff like that, where you could get like Ultimate Rares, you could get Ghost Rares, you could get Secret Rares and all the packs. Then later on, they kind of change it to where the ultimate rares went down to only like four ultimates in the set it was just a little bit of a different configuration but it didn't change too much that was like the clash of rebellion era and the is that arc v i never really know i always get that part confused where, wherever that was there was like dimension of chaos and everything like that so we have clash of rebellion here we have eight packs of each of these by the way then we go on to the ghost from the past era with ghost of the past one and two where it's five card packs you could get ghost rares inside and then legendary duels technically started before this you know with legendary duels rage of raw and but it's still going so if feels newer because you can have brand new sets such as uh, Soul Burning Volcano. So I have a couple different sets in that stack. We have eight packs of each category. We're going to be putting them against each other. They're going to have a total on the screen and we will see who wins. So let me know in the comments, which do you think will win of these four eras in terms of value and then in terms of total foil pulls as well. All right, let's not waste too much time. Let's get started. I'm going to put these over a little bit to the side. Let's start with a Legendary Duelist Soul Burning Volcano. The most recent Ghost Rare set that has come out. We opened it very, very recently, a couple weeks ago and we did pull the Ghost Rare. Let's see if we can do it again. The goal is you pull an ultra rare we'll take that that was a rux and special by the way that's a little value right off the bat the salaman great burst griffin ultra beautiful looking card you love to see it great start for the new legendary duelist ghost rares we're doing this by total value so up at the top you will or on the side or something you will see a total counter for each category at the moment they have an early lead because there's the only one who's opened it back salvage let's see what goes from the past two or one can get i should say can we finally get that dark magician again let's see Sun Avalon Dryadis and Starry Night Balefire. I feel like we're due with the uh, Ghost from the Past. It's been a long time. Next, we have Clash Rebellion. These are actually some packs EX Gamer sent me. So shout out to EX Gamer. These are his packs. So if you pull a Ghost here, we can celebrate for EX Gamer here. He's got his own little section here. One, two, three. I don't remember the pack trick. I'm just going to do three here. Birds of Paradise Lost. We have the Oromage Cannon God. We have the Raid Raptor Return. Before Mage Damage Juggler. Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch. Raid Raptor Fuzzy Lanius, the Tam Tam, the Melodious Diva, Cosmo Town, and finally we have a Before Mage Flame Eater. So that is just a common. All right, our first time opening of the original GX packs in this video. So this is like, these aren't GX technically, this is like the beginning of 5Ds, but like GX era is where it started. And then you went into 5Ds and then Zexel as well, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure if it went to the end of Zexel or not with this format, or but. Uh, these definitely were that format. It's a pretty early GX or 5D set. I keep wanting to say GX. Link with Spider, we have Reptilian Gorgon. Ritual Buster. Reptilian Viper. We have Gemini Booster. Can we get that Star Dragon Majestic? Not Malefic. Majestic Star Dragon. Molting Escape. We have Lord British Space Fighter. And finally. Ooh, a gateway of the six. We got a super right off the bat. Look how subtle this super rare is. Just the circle and then like the sky is hollow. Everything else is not. I know, I guess those little dots are too. That's a pretty nice looking hollow. I like it. So a little potential value there. Not bad. Let's keep going. Uh, it looks like not a terrible start overall for pulls. Let's see what we can get here. No Rux and Special incoming. We got this. Number 79, we have the Battle and Boxer. That's a super. I did not Rux and Special, just saying. And uh, that is not, I mean, it's not a guaranteed super, so maybe it's a dollar, but I doubt it's Legendary Duelist. I'm saving the better Legendary Duelist for last. You might be able to guess which one that is because there hasn't been a lot of good Ghost Rare Legendary Duelist sets. Basically, there's been only one. Ghost from the past one. Here we go. We have Dragoonity. Hierotic Dragon. Can we get that Ghost Rare? Come on. Any Ghost Rare in this video would be incredible. Mass change. Ooh, and a Cypher X Dragon. That's okay. It's not bad. That might add to their tally. I think that's probably a dollar. Very solid. We'll take it. Glass for Rebellions. What can we get? Can we get that Red Eyes Flare Metal? I've never pulled this one, so it would be pretty crazy. One, two, three. Literally never pulled this one before. Flame Eater. Ignite Squire. I do have a first dead for my binder. and I don't know if I have an unlimited, but this is not my pack anyway, so it'll be EX Gamers. So hopefully we can get him something good. We have Salute Tiger. We have a Romage, Bergamot, and we have... 
Ooh, ooh, an Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. There we go. That is a very nice ultra rare pull. Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. I don't know if the value is like crazy. I think you can get this in ulti too, but it's a really awesome artwork. I mean, check that thing out. Very beautiful. All right, nice addition there. Looking good. All right, Stardust Overdrive. Let's see what I can get now. Uh, yeah, we've had some great pulls so far. It's been a very good opening. Can we get something from Stardust Overdrive? We have Limit Impulse, Swap Frog. We have a Dark Spider, Reptilian Medusa, Ground Spider, Spider Spider. So many Spiders. We have the Gemini Booster, the Rinyan, and we have a. A seal of wickedness another super out of the stardust overdrive okay these i remember this one i we pulled this the other day out of our first dead pack it's not worth anything but at least it is a foil we'll take it all right legendary duelist soul burning volcano here we go no pack trick we have transcendence battle and boxer uh, we got the lead yoke we got the head geared we have the uh, gazelle so that literally had nothing in it so we've been pulling pretty good out of those to get foils ghost from the past one i believe in you your era can win this believe in the ghost from the past one we have madolce no spoilers back there almost did it cosmojo remember that was a crazy secret back in the day in terms of money but putting Sess, Madolce, and a Meteor Black Common Dragon. I think that's like the only fusion in the set, it feels like. All right, and yes, there are the same number of packs here. Some are thicker than others. It goes to the past only has five, obviously, cards. So it looks like we're almost out of those packs, but really we're on the same pace. One, two, three. Here we go. Ghost Rare. We have the Drummerilla, Ignite Squire, Ruxin Special, Secret Blast, Ignite Gallant, Ignite Paladin, Performer Pal, Camel Lump. We have the Stilts Launcher. DDD Marksman King Tell, and we have a Bird of Paradise lost again. Come on. Give us a ghost. Stardust Overdrive. One, two, three. Let's go. Regulus. We've got a Tuned Magician. Infernity Force. Infernity Necromancer. Attack Pheromones. Woodland Archer. Quacky Mirror. Wait, that one popped up. At before the other one. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, are we three for three right now? I just realized that we are three for three at a Stardust Overdrive. This is insane. They're all supers though, but Quacky Mirror Beetle, I don't know if that's had a reprint, so maybe that is pretty good. All right, three for three foils. I don't know if they're actually worth anything though, so I don't know if they're actually in a good spot or not. Let's open Legendary Duelist. We only might only have one more of these uh, Soul Burning Volcanoes, so this could be getting toward the end of these. We have the Chief, we have the Scatter Shot, and a Blaze Accelerator. So not much going on there. Goes from the past one. We are not even halfway through this opening, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. It was 32 packs total. Time Thief, we've got a Dragoonity Phalanx, Mass Change, a Royal Prison, and Laval Vol Salamander. I feel like we are due to pull something out of there, but we just can't get anything. Flash of Rebellions, been okay so far. We got an Ultra Rare, that's one of our best pulls yet. One, two, three. We have, there's like friction on these cards. It's insane, I, like this specific set. Mystery Shell Dragon, wait, Human Winds. Not Dried Winds, that's like a crazy super rare thing. Side events, side effects, I should say. And this is not a Yu-Gi-Oh event. Damage Juggler, we have Brilliant Sparks. Tam Tam. The uh, Kumon, Kumon, yes, the Sticky String Kaiju, and Aroma Garden. All right, nothing in that one. Stardust Overdrive, we are three for three, so we're definitely not pulling anything here. They're all super, so it's not like we're pulling like insane or whatever, but yeah, like pulling that many foils in a row is just not gonna happen. We have Synchro Barrier. There's no telling where the foil is either. Quick Draw Synchro, we have Herculean Power. Sometimes it's been the last card when I did three from the back, sometimes it's third to last. Enlightenment's probably one of those two. Reptilian Spawn, it might be here. Oh, it is! The Majestic Star Dragon. That's just the Ultra, not the Ghost. Don't freak out or the Ultimate, but... Hey, Majestic Star Dragon, we are officially four for four out of these packs. This is absurd. Oh my gosh. Beautiful card as well. I wonder if I need that unlimited. I probably don't, but maybe I do. A lot of times the unlimited ultras are the ones I need the most because they're just like the easiest to get and they're the cheapest. So I probably just like, oh, I already have that. I just pass over it or sell it or something. And then I realized later I actually needed it. So recently I've been checking for those every single time. So as you can see, we have Ridge Rock coming up next. I can't believe how crazy these Stardust Overdrive are going. Let's keep going. We have the Salamander great jack jaguar battle and boxer switch hitter we have the rocket we have salamangre foul and burning draw so not much to see in that one ghost from the past one i believe in you there's going to be a wing dragon a raw over here i'm just saying and then this is going to be dark magician we have backup metaphors time the flyback we have laval vol volcano laval laval volcano not laval vol okay an handmaiden and time thief adjuster i think that's okay not bad at all 
We are uh, officially onto the fifth round out of eight. Let's see. I mean, you guys can see the score on the screen right now if you're wondering who's winning, if it hasn't been popping up enough for you. But there you go. There's an update. Metal Dragon. We have Flame Eater. Trick Clown. Return of the Red Eyes. We're going to get a crazy ghost right here. Raptor's Gust. We have Stilts. Eshker. And we have extinction on schedule with those dragon balls in the sky all right now's the time we have to not pull something here this is just getting ridiculous we have now pulled a cover card and three supers in the four packs so i'm guessing that this is going to be nothing but who knows maybe it's an ultimate a secret or a ghost that'd be great we have asha leon insect neglect time passage enlightenment reptilian spawn we got kwaki mirror sea panther this could be it right here or maybe it's the next one light limit impulse Okay, I think we finally didn't get something unless... Okay, we finally didn't get something. Sardis Overdrive, you went four in a row. That's pretty impressive for an old pack. All right, three packs left of each. We got 12 total packs left. This is our first pack of Rage of Raw, though. Ghost Rare, come on, that would be so cool. We have Mechlord Astro, Jurgetto. I haven't pulled this since 2020. It's been that long. Metal Reflex Slime and last day of 2020, actually. Mechlord Deflection, so not going to happen in this video, or at least that pack, maybe later in this video, hopefully. Ghost from the past one, let's go. We're getting close to the end of 2023. Can we pull something crazy now that we, you know, haven't pulled in a couple years? Time Thief Redoer. I bet we haven't pulled Dark Magician since 2021. Maybe 2022, not sure. Dragoonity Legatus, that's decent. I think that's like a couple bucks. We'll take that. Clash of Rebellion, card I've never pulled. Not not even a few years ago. I've literally never pulled this one. I've, I've opened several of these packs. I mean, probably a couple hundred total, um, which is a lot, but for a ghost, it's not even ratio yet. We have Waterfront, Hat Tricker. Let's see if we can get something crazy. Despot 005, Salute Tiger, Side Effects. Oh, watch out. Extra buck, and finally we have the Ignite Margrave. Man, we're getting cold on the core packs. We've got the one ultra rare pull out of there, and that's it. Okay, Stardust Overdrive might be ahead. I mean, Ghost from the Past is at a couple of dollars. The problem with Stardust Overdrive is none of its cards have been very valuable. I bet the cover card's about five bucks, something like that. Um, I think that these new ones have been like this, so we're gonna go like this. All right, Dime Passage, Regulus, watch out for the line. Quick Draw Synchron, Spider Egg, Woodland Archer, we got the Dark Spider, Reptilian Medusa, Megaton Core Bundle, Negaton. Okay, interesting. And oh, an Ultimate Rare Crusader of Endymion. Wow, these Stardust Overdrive packs showed up. Five out of six now with an Ultimate, an Ultra, and three Supers. That is insane. Not a huge value one either, but Crusader of Endymion is a beautiful looking card. Just check this out outside of the sleeve. Look at that foil. Really beautiful. That is an amazing Ultimate. I th they gotta be ahead now, right? We're only 75% of the way through this challenge though. So it's, I mean, if anybody pulls a ghost, they're definitely gonna have the lead. Stardust Overdrive has a solid lead, but definitely not gonna hold up against basically any ghost rare. We have a Genzo. Let's see what we can do. Can we get that wing Dragon of Raw? Oh, we can! It's just not the ghost. The Wing Dragon of Raw alternate art ultra rare. That actually could put them in the lead. I remember this being like 15 bucks last time I checked, so. That's a pretty strong one. I don't know if it's enough, but it is definitely gonna help for sure. And if we can get that uh, God Slime or whatever it's called, even with the reprint, I think that's gonna hold up pretty well. That used to be a $50 Ultra, it's pretty insane. Ghost from the past one, you are definitely not in the lead. You're gonna need something here. Get a Ghost, Metaphor's Counter. If you get a Dark Magician, it's basically over. I don't think anybody can win. Uh, Chateau and Starry Knight Rael. Oh yeah, Ghost from the past is really falling behind the pack here. Two packs left of Clash of Rebellion. Let's do our second to last here. Yeah, you need something as well. You got an Ultra, which is not bad, but it's definitely not comparing to the top two at the moment. <sighs> Ignite Margrave. Let's go, guys. Balance of Judgment. This has been fun. Mystery Shell Dragon. Hat Tricker. We need something. Despot 005. Salute Tiger. Side Effects. Watch out. We have DDD, Oracle King, D-Arc, and we have a Aroma Garden. Not the Aroma Age. Watch out. Man, Sardis Overdrive still has two packs left in there at the, one of the two top spots. The Wing Dragon of Raw, though, is putting pressure on. Let's see if they can continue to pull five out of six packs. I mean, that is definitely the winner in terms of number of, like, foils. That's pretty crazy. Unless you count goes for the path, they have five per pack, so, you know. Not bad there. I think, I, yeah, the prac trick worked last time, so I'm going to do that again. We have the Energy Bravery. Let's just get the Ghost. Why not? Get the Ghost. Secret would be cool, too. Uh, Stygian Dirge. Spiderweb. Relinquish Spider. Level Eater. Bending Destiny. Fortune Lady Water. And that could be money. There's some of those used to be. I think they got a reprint. And 
Spider egg. Okay, so they finally missed another one. Still five out of seven. It's not bad. The final round, everyone. Send me luck in the comments and especially for the one that you voted for. Rage or Raw. Will this be the best one? We have the Resolute Mechlord Army. You need something to really solidify your spot. A, re a Winged Dragon Rock Ghost Rare would definitely do that. Uh, Stogan Stampede and the Mech Lord. So no, nothing. Oh, okay, it's going to be interesting. Here's the current score as we stand right now. Ghost from the past one. I know you are definitely in last place. I don't think, well, you could maybe be beating Clash of Rebellion. So third or fourth. Let's see if you can get one crazy here. Falco, Fusion. Let's go Ghost from the past one. Dragonite, Draco, Quest. That has a Ghost Rare print. So maybe that's a good sign. Time Thief Perpetua, and finally, will we get the Dark Magician? No, the Armed Dragon level 10 goes from the past. He has turned tail and ran away, it's over. We're down to the last two. Clash of Rebellions also need something big. We have pulled error packs with secrets and ultimates in the same pack. I think it was secret and ultimate. So we need something like that. That would be pretty big. Give them a great chance to win. Performer Pal, Drumarilla. Ignite Squire, let's go. Secret Blast, Damage Juggler, Super Every Samurai Blowtorch. Fuzzy Lanius, we have a Tentam, Melodious Diva, Ignite Lancer, and we have a, oh, an Absorb Fusion, another Ultra. I know this one's money because I sold one on TCG the other day. I don't remember what the price was, but I, it's oh, at least a dollar, so it's going to add to the total. I don't know if it's enough, though, to beat Stardust Overdrive, but it is a decent pull. All right, Stardust Overdrive, I don't know if you're slightly behind or if you are just doing this to uh, gloat a little bit. You're trying to, you're front running. Let's see what the last pack will have. You are five for seven so far. I think this is what we have to do. Will we get the ghost right here? It'd be pretty amazing. I've never pulled this ghost. Bending Destiny, we have the Energy Bravery. Insect Neglect, send some luck in the comments, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about this format. If you wanna see more videos like this. Attack Pheromones, we have Srot Frog, Ritual of Grace, Rin Yan. I've pulled this like four times, I feel like, out of eight packs. And finally we have the Ghost Rare Majestic Star Dragon in the final pack! No way! Oh my goodness! A perfect ending to a Ghost Rare opening! The Majestic Star Dragon! This is probably the best, like, eight packs of one set I've ever opened. We pulled two of the cover card, the Ultra and the Ghost, an ultimate, and then three supers out of eight packs. I think we know who won this one. And how about it being the last pack? That is insane. What a crazy, crazy opening. If you guys have enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I haven't been that pumped for a pull in a long time. Let's go. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doidster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.